Hello students, welcome back. This is Shivalila from our public school. So, all of you were asking about 4th and 5th chapter, right? 4th and 5th chapter is completely based on geometry, isn't it? So, that's why what I did is one new method. This is the alternative method, PPT. Through PPT, let me explain the chapter. 4th chapter, it is basic geometrical ideas, okay? Here, what and all you are going to learn. First of all, I said this is the geometry part. What is meant by geometry? See here, geometry is nothing but it, it has a large and rich history. Geo is nothing but earth and metron is nothing but earth measurement. So, why it is about earth measurement? See, earth is also round shaped, isn't it? Earth also has a shape. So, this is completely based on shapes. You are going to learn about different shapes. It might be flat 2D shapes or 3D shapes. But to start a shape, we need some basic needs, isn't it? Basic shapes. What and all those shapes? Now, we are going to study those shapes. Okay? Shall we start? Come on. So, in this chapter, we are going to learn about points, line segments, line, ray, and angles, polygons, quadrilaterals, circles. Okay? First, what is point? Point is a particular position on a plane. Okay? A particular position. What we use, say in English, full stop. Right? So, that is a point. But that is, that will be very tiny structure in math. Okay? So, that on a plane, if we mark a small dot, that represents a point. And a point can be represented using mathematical alphabets, capital mathematical alphabets. Okay. So, see, this is a point A. This is point P. This is a point M. And so on. Okay. So, when we join two points, when we join two points, we'll get a line segment, okay? Line segment is nothing but the distance between two lines, okay? See here, the distance between two points is a line segment, okay? Line segment has finite distance. So, what are the best example for uh, line segment? See your uh, table, edge of a table, you can measure its length, isn't it? Whatever you have in your hand, you can see the length of pen, pen the length of pencil, whatever the length of our screen, everything we can measure. This measurable distance is a line segment, is the best example for line segment. Okay, and see the line segment has two end points. These are the two end points. And how can we represent it on a plane? Or how can we represent using only figures and letters? This is a way of representing line segment. Okay, the end points should be right, written like this. And this this says this AB is a line segment. But when it comes to line, we have, there is no end for line. Okay, there is no end. When we extend both the sides of line segment, we'll get line. Okay, there is no end. So while representing this one, AB are any two point on the line, but still they are continuing. They are continuing on both the sides. Okay, so we have to represent in this one. Okay, even if there is no given sentences, if there is no given any statements, but still, if it is given, we can say directly it is a line segment and it is a line. Got it? So, because of this representation, this says A is the, this is end point and this is also end point. A is also end point, B is also end point. Here, AB are any two points on the line AB. Okay. On the line AB. Still there might be other points. May not be. But they are not the end points. Still it is continuing on both the side. It is extended on both the end. Okay. So what is the ex example for line? See have you seen end for a main road? No. There is no end for main road. We did not see. But uh, on Google and somewhere I have read it. There is an end for the earth also. If there is an end for earth, obviously there is an end for road also. But still, a road is the best example for line. Okay? In the same way, railway track also. It will be continuing. There will be no end. Okay? Somewhere might be.
but still we can consider it as a measurable i mean non measurable length right that is the best example for line now we are here we have two types of lines that is intersecting lines okay intersecting lines and parallel lines what is meant by intersecting lines and parallel lines see intersecting lines is nothing but two or more lines which meet at a particular point that particular point is known as point of intersection or intersecting points and those two lines are known as intersecting lines okay then what is meant by parallel line see what is a uh, intersecting line where we will see see the junction of railway station uh, railway uh, tracks we will see the junctions and crossroads isn't it ring roads that will be intersecting at a particular point isn't it yes and parallel lines see the edges of uh, scale the edges of scale will be the best example for parallel lines and the edges of this tv i mean monitor both opposite sides are equally distanced they if we extend on both the side they, they won't meet at any point you consider just a railway track both the tracks it will be moving with the same distance between them it won't change right the distance between two lines will be same that is nothing but parallel lines okay the lines which move with equal distance between them is are known as parallel lines okay then then what we have to study it is a ray okay here ray is nothing but again it is also a part of line here starting point will be there okay starting point will be there but there will be no ending point it will be continuing it might be continue in any direction it is not only towards left or right up or down whatever what is the example for ray see ray is a uh, part of line which starts from a particular point and there will be no end for that and how can we represent it we can be re we can represent it in in this way a is the initial point and it continued towards b if we write it b a on that if we write the arrow mark that will be wrong if we write it like this b and a then and if we mark arrow mark like this that will be wrong what it says it says it started at b but it continued towards a but what is our ray it started at a and continued towards b isn't it so therefore if we write like this it will be wrong got it so how to represent initial point should be written as a first okay first we should mention the initial point then the continue uh, in which direction it has been continued got it and if two rays starts from one particular point then it forms an angle this is a angle this is also angle there are seven types of angle okay few types already have been studied in the previous class including zero angle and the remaining angles we are going to study in the next chapter okay and in this chapter just we have to study about angle then here see inside the angle this is interior part inside the angle it is interior part outside the angle is exterior part in the same way here also see the point which is between the given two rays initial ray and final ray that is interior interior means inside and if the point is outside those two rays then that is exterior exterior means outside interior means inside the shape okay yeah next we have to study is curves all we if we say curve all of us will get the same one thought curve is a shapeless line drawing it is not like that okay curve is nothing but a see if we take any shape what is the outer shape of this if we draw the only the outer shape that is a curve okay it might be in any shapeless in any orderless manner or it might be in a straight line also okay so here we have two types of curve that is open curve and a closed curve okay one more the curve you have simple curve what is meant by simple curve simple curve is nothing but a drawing which is drawn without lifting the pencil okay without lifting the pencil if we draw drawing 
and that too should not cross itself okay that lines whatever the drawing we are drawing that drawing should not cross itself okay the co the curves the should not cross itself is known as simple curve okay then open curve is nothing but the whose end points will not meet each other so here this is the end point and here one more end point we have this is end point they doesn't meet each other see here here also isn't it they doesn't meet each other but in a closed curve the starting point and ending point meet each other so therefore it is closed closed means completely covered opened so there is something space to go inside the shape that's it we know the meaning of open and closed isn't it yes then we have polygons in the same polygon we have to study in the next class also but what is meant by polygon polygon is a simple closed curve okay which is made up of sides without sides it is a curve okay which is made up of sides is known as polygon and it is a closed curve it is a simple simple means no line segment across itself and it is closed also then can we draw a polygon with the two sides can we draw any polygon with the two sides we can draw line segments but we, it is not closed so there is no any polygon with the two sides starting from three sides closed right so starting from three sides three side is known as triangle three sided polygon is known as triangle four sided polygon is known as quadrilateral five sided polygon is known as pentagon see sides 1 2 3 4 Six sided polygon is known as hexagon. Seven heptagon. Eight octagon. Octopus. Eight leg. Isn't it? Yes. So eight octagon. Nine nanogram. And ten decagon. And so on. So the name of the polygon depend on the number of sides. Got it? So based on the number of sides, the name of the polygon will be variated. Isn't it? So here poly means many, plenty. Gone is nothing but sides. Okay. Yes. Then what we have to study in this chapter is triangle. So here triangles and quadrilaterals. What is a triangle? Triangle is a three-sided polygon and the basic polygon. Okay. And a quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. Here, see the diagonal has been given. And one more thing, interior and exterior. Already I have explained in the angle concept. One more thing here I had to say is adjacent and opposite. What is meant by adjacent? Adjacent means beside one. Opposite means face to face. Just consider this triangle. In this triangle, see this and this one, both are adjacent to each other. Okay, this one and this one, both are adjacent. But this one and this one, both are opposite to each other. See face to face. These two are face to face, and these two are beside ones, isn't it? Two sides with one common vertex is adjacent sides. Two vertices, two vertices with one common side are adjacent vertices. Okay, in the same way, angles also. Two angles with one side common is nothing but adjacent angles. Then opposite angles. See, its opposite angle is this one, and the, its opposite angle is this one. Got it? In the same way here also. See, if I consider this side, what is the opposite side of this? This is opposite side. If I consider this angle, if I consider this angle, what is the opposite angle of this? This one. Opposite, face to face, right? I'm opposite of the screen. You are opposite of me, isn't it? Adjacent. What is adjacent to me? Is here nothing? I don't have anything which is adjacent to me, but I have everything opposite to me. But for you, if you find something adjacent to me, see, if I keep a hold up pen here, this is adjacent to me, beside one. Okay, see here, for this side, which side is adjacent? This is also adjacent. This is also adjacent, isn't it? For this one particular side, these two are adjacent. In the same way, for this side, for this side, this is also adjacent. This is also adjacent. For this one, see, if we go, if we move anti-clockwise, this will be adjacent if we move clockwise this will be adjacent in the same way angles for this angle which is adjacent see this angle is also adjacent 
this angle is also adjacent isn't it so adjacent and opposite you should know what is meant by adjacent the angle which has at least one side in common see these two angles has this side as common and this two angle has this side as common got it opposite means though they doesn't have any common side or common vertex got it yes diagonal is nothing but the same thing if we join two opposite vertices of any polygon except a triangle for triangle every point is adjacent to the remaining see for this point these two are adjacent then we don't have any non adjacent vertices diagonal means the line segment which joins the non adjacent means opposite vertices non adjacent vertices for this vertex this one and this one these two are adjacent isn't it for that reason this is non non adjacent opposite that's why the line which joins these two point is known as diagonal okay same interior means inside the shape exterior means outside the shape lastly we have circle in this chapter very small chapter okay circle what is meant by circle circle is a simple closed curve which moves with a fixed distance from the center if this is the center from here it moves with a fixed distance okay with the center there will be the distance between center and the circumference this is a circular shape this is the circumference of the circle the distance between this point and the circumference will be same that distance see this distance is nothing but radius okay this distance is nothing but radius the line segment which joins any two points of the circle any two here i joined this point and this point if not any two you can the line which joins any two point of the circle is known as chord okay the line segment which joins any two parts of the circle i mean points of on the circle it is chord if this point moves here and if this point moves here while joining this moves through center the chord which moves through center then the biggest chord also this is nothing but diameter see here diameter got it yeah now see center is the from where the circle starts to move right where we will see this one see if we uh, tie a cow or buffalo to one any one uh, this one in a plain ground what will happen if you tie it with a uh, row what will happen it will just move in a circular motion where you dig that uh, particular uh, this one that will be center okay and the rope using that it will be moving in a circular motion that will be radius and the distance it covered in a circular motion is nothing but circumference okay yes now see this region the region which is enclosed by a cord and the arc this region is known known as segment and the region which is enclosed by two radii and an arc see here this is one radii this is one radii the region enclosed by these two radii and a chord is known as sector got it what is meant by sector sector is nothing but the region which is enclosed by two radii two radii and an arc segment is nothing but part of circle which enclosed by interior part of the circle which is enclosed by a chord and an arc got it so this is all about the basic shapes got it so here basic elementary shapes what we have learned and now the same thing will continue in the next chapter that is understanding elementary shapes there angles will be divided polygons will be divided name of the tri triangles will be classified quadrilaterals will be classified and one more additional you will learn about 3d shapes what is meant by 3d that i'll explain in the next chapter okay until then